What's going on guys? Welcome to a new anime video. This one is not going to be a review, it's actually going to be a preview. So I couldn't think of a name. Preview with Ali. Uh, Ali previews anime. Or I just wanted to kind of get this out there because I've only just realised, you know, stupid me, that, wow, there's a lot of anime out now in the 2018 like spring summer kind of season. And uh, I thought, well, what the heck? I need to actually kind of get something together and talk about all the ones I'm excited for and hopefully there'll be the same ones you're excited for as well. We can all get excited! So, I'm going to do this in a top five. Number five, you can't see me, is predictably Persona 5 The Animation. I mean, for this one, it's pretty easy. It's a pretty easy sell for me. It's Persona. It's Persona 5. Great characters, great story, great setting. Visuals are just off the charts. Music is. I was hyped and it always like kind of glued to my screen watching the animated cutscenes in the game. Um, but now to know that there's a full uh, length series, Persona fans will eat this up. And for those of you who like the art style, but maybe not the game style of Persona, give this a check. Give this a look. Give, give this a look. Check this out. Give it a look. Number four on the list is an anime called. If I can look at my notes. It's an anime called Otaku no Koi wa Muzukashi, which means it's hard for otaku to fall in love. The premise it being it kind of focuses on, in this case, um, two couples, and these kind of couples um, road to getting together. So, and you know, it's very stereotypical kind of. There's like the girl who likes figures, there's the guy who's a gamer. It's a really kind of interesting premise in that how it happens and it's a comedy you know of course there's romance in there and it just looks really promising as otaku who found love this calls to me so yeah that's probably the main reason why i picked it all right guys so number three on the list and i try not to butcher the name of this one because it's difficult to say uh koi wo shinai. now this translates to tadakun does not fall in love. It's a kind of romantic comedy-ish kind of slice of life anime um, about the main character Tada and he meets a foreign exchange student from Luxembourg called, what's her name? Called Teresa Wagner. It's through meeting this uh, foreigner he ends up I guess developing feelings um, and then I guess the story from what it sounds from the blurb kind of goes on from there and the relationship progresses. Um, also I guess it touches on other characters, um, could be their relationships also. Um, it just seems like a very kind of chill and very kind of um, nice, I'm a vibe-ish if, if, if I could say that, um, anime. So number two on my list is anime called Golden Kamui. Now this one, it interests me more so in the premise behind the actual series it just instantly grabbed me in that it's wholly different to anything I've kind of come across before this one is interesting because it focuses on two characters and um, one um, he's called Sugimoto he is a um, army man who survived the Japan Russia kind of war so now that war is over he is now trying to claim you know the kind of riches that were left um, unclaimed here's the kicker He's not well prepared enough for the elements and where this anime takes place, it takes place in Hokkaido. Again, that's kind of rare. Um, you know, Sapporo Hokkaido, it's not a mainstay kind of setting um, for Japanese anime. So that's nice to see. Um, but here's where it is. He has to then partner up with a uh, Ainu girl. And Ainu, if people don't know, they are the, um, how, do, how do I say? They are the original people of Japan. I've never seen an anime um, let alone a lot of maybe a kind of common day form of media that focuses um, you know so much on, on Ainu and I think it's really interesting that um, you know through the lens of anime we're able to kind of maybe understand a bit more about um, Ainu traditions so these two team up and they have to go across the kind of land and trying to find the treasure and it's meant to be a survival kind of game anime and they come across different kind of people and fights will, will ensue and it seems really interesting. I mean, 
the premise alone is what makes me think it's a very promising kind of series. So, number one, the top rated anime that I'm looking forward to the most. Uh, well, how, how do I, where do I begin? It's called uh, Megalo Box, or in Japanese, Meguru, Meguro Box. And uh, it's a modern day kind of retelling of Ashita no Jo. Which, if any of you remember, this is that was like an old style back in the day um, boxing kind of sports anime. Um, and now they've kind of updated it and made it more current. Um, it's pretty much like alternate world, alternate you know, new characters and um, retelling retread of the original Ashton and Joel manga. Megalo Box is really interesting in that the premise behind it is the characters who the actual boxers themselves. They have these kind of exoskeleton and kind of gears, if you will, and you know they're strapped to their shoulders and their arms. And what this allows them to do is to punch um, farther and stronger. And you know, boxing is quite exciting in general, especially when done right in anime. And to kind of have this addition, um, it just looks really interesting. Um, very over the top, very kind of shown and very anime, if you will. Um, main character looks very cool. Um, he's called JD, Junk Dog, which is an amazing name. And you know, the whole kind of setting and this premise behind it. I'm really, really excited for this one. So, a bit about the premise um, from, from what I've read, what I understand, um, before jumping into episode one, is uh, JD, the main character, he does um, participate rather in illegal kind of underground boxing matches, which he has to actually throw. Um, so, he'll make some money, but he won't actually get anywhere um, on the ladder kind of going up divisions or to kind of become a more well-known and well-paid kind of boxer. He doesn't want to stick to where he's at. You know, someone coming from nothing to then into something. Um, but um, just from what I'm what I'm seeing, like just graphically and what I'm kind of comparing it to, um, sports anime wise, boxing anime wise, this this one just looks this looks amazing. It just looks amazing. So again, thanks very much for watching guys. And I will catch you guys in the next one.